What's up guys? Today's video we are letting Google reviews decide what I eat for 24 hours. So I got a comment on my last video from Marissa J6468 and she said, Daisy, I would love to see you do a 24 hour food challenge where you try people's food recommendations from Google reviews or other places like Yelp, like the roast beef one you read aloud at 51 seconds. So in my last video, someone in their Google review recommended something to try that they had at Arby's. So we are going to be going Going through the Google reviews on a few different fast food spots and trying out what they recommend in their review. I feel like this will be super fun so I'm pretty excited. The first place that we are going to is Wendy's and I'm gonna pop up a review on the screen from Google. They said food was great, quick service, and on their recommended dishes they put Dave's Double Chili and Fries. So we are gonna get exactly that. There was actually a lot of reviews that recommended the Dave's Double. Here is another one. They said double stack and a sandwich and then this guy that said double stack and fries so people love the Dave's double I am pretty sure I've had it before I remember it being good so yeah I will see you guys over at Wendy's all right you guys we are at Wendy's hi um can I get the Dave's double combo with a small fry please what's your drink could I do a small iced water with that a small water yes and then can I also get a small cup of chili as well Okay. And that's gonna be it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, we got our order placed. I am super excited about this. The Dave's cheeseburgers at Wendy's, ooh, they always hit the spot. So I already know this is gonna be good. I know why people recommend it, because it's amazing. Hey, how's it going? Here you go. Thank you. Ooh, that smells so good. The fries, super hot and fresh. I can feel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, I just got a water. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys. We've secured our Wendy's bag. But yeah, like I was saying, the fries, I can feel the warmth coming off of them, which is just so very exciting because I'm about to tear into them. <laughs> I'm about to tear into the fries, the burger, the chili, everything. I'm so hungry. Like, I don't know what it is. I think I, oh gosh, there's a cardboard box in the middle of the road. Okay, as I was saying, I did not eat a lot of food yesterday. So this morning I woke up and my stomach has been growling all day long. Also, it is freezing. So the past few days it was 80 degrees and then today it feels like 30 degrees with the wind. I think it said it feels like 34 exactly with the wind because it's cold, it's windy. I have this giant sweatshirt on because I am so cold. Okay, anyways, on to the food. Okay, so we have our fries. Most people on their Google review also put fries as the recommended dish because of course, Wendy's fries are amazing. Mm. Like I said, super hot and fresh. Also, they give you so many fries in a small. I got a small because I was like, a burger and chili is already a lot of food. Look how many fries that is. <laughs> mm. Then we have our Dave's Double as well as the chili. I have hyped up Wendy's chili so much on my channel. Their chili is so good. If you haven't tried Wendy's chili, don't sleep on it. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Wendy's chili, but it's just so good. Like you can't deny how good it is. Okay, on to our cheeseburger. Okay, so there is our Dave's Double. Wait, it only has one patty on it. Isn't it supposed to come with two patties? Oh, maybe not. It does have two, it has two slices of cheese. So maybe the Dave's Double comes with two slices of cheese and one patty, but I swear it came with two patties. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Mm. still tastes good. I gotta say, the Dave's cheeseburgers, they hit the spot. Are they as good as the Whopper? Probably not. Will I mention a Whopper in almost every video I film? 
probably because I love the Whopper and I can't seem to ever stop mentioning it when I have a cheeseburger. Okay, so let me know what you guys think of this recommended order. Is this something that you would recommend to people at Wendy's? When I was trying to find recommendations for this video on Google reviews, not a lot of people recommend food. And they should. I can just picture these guys chowing down on the Dave's Double and it's so good. It just hits the spot for them and then they go on to Google reviews and they leave a review because they were so impressed by that Dave's Double that they just had to recommend it. And I love it. I am here for that energy. I'm actually going to look up if the Dave's Double is supposed to have two patties on it because I'm pretty sure it is. And they also did not give me a straw for my water, which is not the end of the world. Ooh, yeah, okay, the Dave's Double does have two patties on it. Did she give me a receipt? Because now I'm wondering if she rang me up for the double. Oh, no, she rang me up for a single cheese. And she also gave me medium fries. <laughs> I said small fry, so it turns out this is actually this is actually a medium fry, not a small fry. I mean, we, we still got the gist, I guess. Okay, let's dive into the chili. Look at that chili, how amazing. Oh my gosh. Nothing compares to the Wendy's chili. It is just straight 10 out of 10. And then you take your fries and you dip your fries in the chili. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, that was Wendy's. That was our first Google review deciding our meal. I will see you guys at our next location for more recommendations from Google reviews. All right, you guys, our next stop is McAllister's, which is actually a very popular spot here for lunch. So hopefully we have a better experience here compared to Wendy's, which honestly, the food at Wendy's was still good. I just feel like it kind of messed up the challenge a little bit, but just keep in mind, these challenges are just for fun. So try not to take them too serious. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop up the review for McAllister's. This guy says, great sandwiches with large portions I recommend the New Yorker with the Black Angus Spud. Delicious. Drinks are a little pricey. <laughs> so we actually didn't get a drink. I just got the New Yorker with the Black Angus Spud. And I actually think this is going to be really good. I've never tried either of these items. I have had some of their spuds before, but not this spud. But yeah, I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do McAllister's for a while. So I feel like this is a great way to kind of sprinkle it into a video. Okay, let me pop inside, get the food, and then we will give this order a try. All right, you guys, we used to our McAllister's bag and I did take a peek inside to take my thumbnail and oh my goodness this food looks absolutely incredible also they were super busy inside like I know that they're popular for lunch but I have never seen them that busy when I walked in my jaw dropped I was like whoa they are packed I'm glad I placed my order online because I was tempted to just walk in and order but thank god I did an online order because that line was all the way to the back door okay time to reveal the food da, 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 da. okay so we got the spud right here and then the New Yorker right here and based on like what the New Yorker looked like I think it's kind of like a Reuben or a corned beef sandwich and they really load it up look at all that meat and cheese wow this is a hefty sandwich mm. okay so taste wise this sandwich is very very delicious i love the taste of it but it just needs some sort of sauce on it because it is a very dry sandwich i do see that it has mustard i think it actually has like a spicy mustard on it or is it brown mustard but it definitely needs more like way more or you know the french dip what is that dip called Aju dip I think that's what it's called I don't know you guys told me before I don't quite remember because my my memory is horrible okay I think we've established that <laughs> that dip would be really good with this sandwich it is a phenomenal sandwich though I mean the taste is amazing and they put 
so much meat on it. I'm actually pretty shocked with how much meat that they put on here. Because usually places skimp. McAllister's does not. <sighs> mm. Okay, now let's try this spud. If you guys don't know what a spud is, it's just a baked potato. It's the same thing. Also, the Black Angus spud, just so you guys know, it comes with onions, cheese, roast beef, and I think that's it. Okay, that is a good baked potato. The roast beef actually goes so well with the potato. And then you also got the onions. Okay. That does not disappoint. It also comes with some sour cream, which I'm going to add to it. And then you can also put some butter on there if you want. Let me know if you guys have McAllister's where you live. I'm pretty sure McAllister's is pretty big. Like, I want to say most states have McAllister's. I mean, it's a pretty popular deli as far as I'm aware. Okay, so we got some sour cream on the potato. So far, I love this guy's order. I think it's very good. The roast beef sandwich, if you're looking for a hefty sandwich, this is it. This thing is massive. The more I eat it, the more I taste that mustard, and I absolutely love the taste of that mustard. So, yeah, I would just say if you want to try this, get extra mustard or a side to dip the sandwich in or add some mayonnaise to it because that would make that sandwich absolute perfection. Mm. And the baked potato, also delicious. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this is actually a pick two. So with a pick two, you can get half of a sandwich and then half of a spud. Or you could do like half of a salad, half of a soup, or no, cup of soup and half of a sandwich, like that sort of thing. But they actually have way bigger baked potatoes than this. If you get like a full spud, they are massive. So the pick two all together was about $14 with tax which is a bit pricey. I mean, it's definitely a more pricier deli. I would say McAllister's is one of those places that's a little bit more of like a upper scale deli, I would say probably, yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, well that was McAllister's. I would say this guy gave a very good recommendation, so shout out to him for leaving a review on Google and telling us what we should get at McAllister's. I will see you guys at our next spot to get a recommendation from Google reviews. Alright you guys, we are taking a quick coffee intermission before we grab dinner. I found this review on Starbucks and this drink sounded really good to me. I feel like it's gonna sound boring to some people, but sometimes like I run out of coffee at home and instead of taking a whole trip to the grocery store because I have a Starbucks like 30 seconds up the street from me, I'm like, you know what, let me just go, let me go get some Starbucks before I get more coffee at home. And I always want to get a regular coffee but I never know how to make it better because they don't have creamer at Starbucks like they don't have flavored creamer they just have like half and half milk and syrup so you kind of have to make your own combination to kind of taste like creamer if that makes sense I know half and half is considered creamer but I mean like the flavored creamer you get at the grocery store they don't really have at Starbucks anyways let me read this review and stop blabbing so this person said the barista this Tuesday morning was very sweet you can tell when a barista really knows their stuff my drink was great and then they say pike place with steam half and half and two pumps caramel so the pike place is their regular medium blend coffee i believe and this person gets steamed half and half which i didn't even know you could get and two pumps caramel so we're gonna get this drink we're gonna try it out we're gonna see if it's good i would love to find a drink at starbucks that is just plain hot coffee but has some flavor to it still that's good so this could be a good solution okay let's pop into the starbucks drive through thank you for choosing starbucks this is crystal what can i start for you today hi um could i get a grande pike place coffee with steamed half and half and two pumps caramel yeah for sure you said that was a grande pike place with two pumps of caramel and steamed half and half yes please anything else for you no that's gonna be it and can i get your name for that order daisy 
awesome daisy i'll see you at the window okay thank you thank you Okay, so the person in the review did not specify what size, so I just went with a grande because I feel like most people get grande at Starbucks because medium's kind of like in the middle, but if it's a tall, it may not be sweet enough. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too sweet because two pumps caramel is actually not that much caramel. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? $4 for you. Thank you. Awesome. Here you go, hon. Thank you so much. Have yes, a good day. You okay we got our starbucks drink oh my gosh i'm so excited to try this i hope this is good this is like the perfect little afternoon post lunch coffee okay let me get parked really quick okay here's our coffee it is extremely hot so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get a good taste test of it i kind of want to cool it off because it's so hot Ooh, oh my gosh i don't know if you guys can see that steamed half and half looks so good. I wish I knew in the past that you could get steamed half and half. I'm so happy I saw that review because I never would have known steamed half and half was a thing, but that's that's a great hack. Okay, let's just YOLO and give this a try. Hopefully it doesn't burn my tongue off. Ooh. It's not sweet at all so i think for me i would probably add maybe two more pumps of something maybe some sugar-free vanilla it is good though i loved the steamed half and half the steamed half and half is really good i just think i would like this a little bit more sweet and i don't like super sweet coffee but this is this does not have really any sweetness at all or what you could do is get the blonde coffee instead i think they have a blonde blend of coffee which is really good that's usually what i get as opposed to the pike place which is definitely more of a stronger coffee taste you know the more i drink it the more i like it actually surprisingly like it's not getting any sweeter but i'm kind of getting used to the flavor and i actually really like it Ooh, okay, that's quite yummy. Okay, I will see you guys at our last location for dinner to try more suggestions from Google reviews. All right, you guys, it's now dinner time, and for dinner, we are getting cookout. So I scoured the reviews under cookout, and I actually found two reviews that recommended the same dishes. For their recommended dishes, they said the cheese bites as well as the quesadilla. And then there was this review that says, the food was not only good, but also diverse with the added bonus of having quesadillas on the menu a great option for those looking for quick tasty eats so we're definitely going to get the cheese bites and the quesadilla and then i saw this review that recommended the blt sandwiches so i think we're also going to get that because i believe their quesadillas are pretty small and then last i wanted to get a milkshake and i wanted to see what other milkshakes people like so i found this review that says must try cheesecake shake strawberry and chicken strips I feel like all in all this will be a good order from google reviews Hello, um, can I please get a chicken quesadilla? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the uh, white cheddar cheese bites as well, and then a BLT sandwich and a strawberry cheesecake shake. Yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna see if the people leaving reviews on Cookout knows what's up, which to be honest, you really cannot go wrong with anything at Cookout. I am a big stan of Cookout. I absolutely love it. I think everything is good here. If you've had a bad experience at Cookout, they were just having a bad day because Cookout is amazing. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Ooh, that milkshake looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it looks super, super pinky. You Thank you, have a good night. All right, you guys, we've secured our cookout bag. I am going to park right here. Let's see if this is good lighting. Okay, the lighting is a little funky, but we're gonna make it work. I think I'm gonna get a new camera. I've been trying to put it off, but not being able to put my camera on a tripod is really getting old so i think i'm just gonna make the purchase and get a new camera soon we'll see okay so in our cookout bag we have the cheese bites which i love the cheese bites at cookout so i feel like it's hard not to recommend these they are so delicious 
Mmm. These are so hot right now, so the cheese on the inside is super gooey. Mmm. Wow. Okay, we have our quesadilla. They have regular cheese quesadillas, and then you can also get a chicken quesadilla. Oh my gosh. I actually have Diablo sauce in my car, so maybe we'll put some Diablo sauce on here. Okay, got some Diablo sauce. We're gonna put this on here. I feel like this will make this chicken quesadilla 10 times better. Okay, the Diablo sauce gives it a nice spicy kick. Mm, mm hmm. I kind of want to go ahead and dive into this strawberry cheese cake shake. <laughs> I was struggling to say that when I was ordering. Okay, there's the inside of it. I did see someone complaining in the review saying that their shakes are not drinkable, but they're really not meant to be drank. You got to eat it with a spoon and that just makes it so good. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've had this shake since college. Like normally when I come here, I get other shakes. The strawberry cheesecake, I remember I had in college because my friend got it. It's so freaking good. Okay, strawberry cheesecake milkshake. This is a must try. I think that's literally what the person said in their review. <laughs> must try and it really is. The quesadilla with that shake, that's actually a really good combination. Okay. Let me take this phone call really quick. A few moments later. Now let's pop open this BLT. I actually almost got a BLT from Cookout the other week. That's a lie. This was probably like a month ago now. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I thought it was going to be on regular bread. But they actually put it on a bun. It's got lots of lettuce on there. So it literally is just a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. This is actually really good. And that tomato is super fresh. Ooh. Bacon is super crispy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well this order you guys are gonna say was pretty good. Everything was delicious. I've seen a lot of people say they do love the quesadillas at cookout, so these must be pretty popular. They are really, really delicious. I think with Cookout, what I like so much about it is how simple it is and just how homemade their food tastes. It literally tastes like you're at a cookout with family and you're making cookout food. Like, that's what everything tastes like and it's so good. And their shakes. Oh. All right, you guys. Well, that was letting Google reviews decide what I eat for 24 hours. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this video. Let me know if you guys would want to see a part two to this. I feel like we have so many 24 hour videos now that we need to do a part two to. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up down below. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.